Hey guys, Gogs are here and welcome to another match day vlog. Today we are in Weatherspoons in Livingston for Livingston vs Mull. It's the pitch that is artificial in the league. The only artificial pitch in the league now as two went down last season. It was great. Uh, hopefully this season uh, Livingston can just get out the pitch in as well. That'd be great and just have a whole grass pitch league again. But uh, first and foremost today. Um, Hopefully Mother can get three points. And uh, yeah. Here we go. Motherwell. And we are here at the spaghetti head. <sighs> Never a good game here, ever. As you'll see, the only Astro Tough pitch in the league left. Lindsay, what's your word on the pitch? I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Mother Team over there, Livingston over here, Mundawell. Mundawell! Not happy with this. That's a clusterfuck of a move there. Oh! Come on, Justin. He's yours. That's a good ball. Oh! Oh! Hey! Come on! Oh my days. Dejected like that, if you know we're going to actually fucking take your chances. It's been so uninspiring, but this is not as good either. Half time Livingston 1, Motherwell 0. Am I surprised? Absolutely fucking not. Uh, Livingston have had one shot on target and it hit the back of the net. Uh, this came after about half an hour's worth of Motherwell dominance. I thought we were the better team to start off with. And I mean, we didn't really have a shot on target as such. We had a lot of the ball in the final third and we just didn't do enough in front of goal. We are too predictable. With Tony Watt up front, I like I like Tony Watt, but the ball just goes straight to him. He wins the headers. And then the two wingers, Willery and Amaluza, they're just clueless, like they don't run onto it at all. We are not second to every ball, we're thirds. Uh, you know, the usual birthday card fish when you're losing. We've done everything but score. And I don't see it changing unless we bring on Van Veen at half time. I'm just very despondent right now. I think a lot of Motherwell fans are feeling the same as me. 
uh, I just change it. Change it. Four, go four four two. The four three three hasn't worked for weeks. Four four two. Dominate the midfield. Play it through to the attack. Cut them open because we need to. But yeah, right on the second half. On the well. Well, as they say behind me, it can get worse. No on the well. Just need to think a bit more in the second half. against Obelight. Tony Watt thinks about the shot, reverses it, what a save, and then fumbled in by Liam Grimshaw! Has made it 2-1! Gummy, I'm so sorry for every time I've slagged you off. Livingston 1, Motherwell 2! We deserve it! We absolutely deserve it! Liam Grimshaw! Yeah! He comes from Burnley, he's the best right back in Scotland, and he's not even playing there today. <laughs> yeah, free kick to Livingston, Motherwell have resorted back to what seemed to be a six then a diamond, so a wee bit of inspiration from Craig Levine. But, after dominating the game and then changing it to a defensive formation, worrying, but it's literally like the last knockings of the game right now. Livingston have literally pinned this back right now because we have literally let them. Come on. Stop parking the fucking tank. It's not even a bus, it's a tank at this point. <laughs> Liam, yeah! Right, how long actually is left because they've not actually signalled how long to go? <laughs> Shake it up, baby! Press that shoot! Press that shoot! Come on! Blow that whistle, man. Right, come on. Oh, go, Grimmy. Yes, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, O'Connor. Ah, oh, you're boring. You are boring. Absolutely boring. Go and score a third, man. Put this game to bed. Yeah. Tony Macaroni, or oh, spaghetti has, doesn't matter what you call this place, that's a shit hole. Mother of come from behind to win the game 2 1. Thoroughly deserved in my eyes. Right on next week it's Dundee. Won the well. Right, I'll be as quick as I can with this post match because I'm actually meant to be doing something today. Uh, but my final thoughts of the game I thought we deserved to win. I mean, we're still not there yet. 
uh, we're still up to still not up to proper speed yet. But I thought it was a step in the right direction for me. Um, I mean, Livingston scored their only proper shot on target in the first half, and I thought we weren't going to come back from that. Credit to the players, uh, we were exceptional in the second half. Uh, but I mean, the last ten minutes or so was very nervy. Uh, moving back to what nine at the back or something like that. I did not like watching that and against better opposition, if against an actual team that will be in the top six this season, we will struggle to hold on to something like that. So especially when at two one, we could have pushed for a third or a fourth. Like really Livingston were awful. Like that was genuinely the worst side I've seen this season so far, um, play against us and I've watched Motherwell every week. <laughs> now, but jokes aside, um, I thought Graham Alexander did fantastically well to uh, put Grimmie in the middle of the park because when Grimmie originally came to Motherwell, he was played as a midfielder and his uh, energy in the middle of the park was unmatched and unrivaled. And uh, we saw that on Saturday. I mean, he's, he's not the most technically gifted player, but he works hard and you've got to be fair to him. And... Um, I thought uh, Justin was good as well. Will Ray could he's still getting there. Uh, he's still not properly uh finished product. Uh, but Tony Watt I thought was my man of the match and uh, yeah, it was also great to have uh, my girlfriend Lindsay's first ever victory for the club. So uh, in which she's seen in person. So a, a very very good day Saturday was and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like down below if you want more of the snazzy content. Subscribe if you're new. We're nearly at 10,000. I've been saying that for a while. But we're nearly there. We're getting there. But yes. Anyway, guys. I'll see you later. Take care.